Hello everyone and welcome to another video for an AI series. This video today we're going to show you how to generate a panoramic image from an S-series or a VX total station with a vision capability and we're going to export into different format. So as you can see I have a project here open. I'm going to click under the photogrammetry tab under process panorama. You can select whatever the station you would like to view by clicking this button right here and as you can see it's going to open uh, the panoramic image for that view for this area. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about those boxes. So the first two boxes are optional to balance the exposure and blend the edge of the images. If you check the last box which is the one responsible for generating the panorama. There's some details here at the bottom that will explain what those commands do for you. So it depends on your field of configuration and the field where the picture were taken, you may see the first box gray because the HDR is enabled already. Then you can select whatever format you would like to go to. So if you'd like to export to a panoramic you can use in your Google Earth KML card by Nsphere. This is required you have an account with Nsphere. This file package is stored in an Nsphere cloud and it's not visible to the user. A KML file will be saved to the user local project folder. For the Google Earth KMZ, this option will store the file package and the KMZ file locally. No Nsphere account is required. Note that the KMZ file generated in this way could only be viewed probably in Google Earth version, no later than 6.2. The HTML, uh, this option will require the user to install Microsoft Research HD View add-on in the web browser. Google Chrome state that this add-on will not be supported anymore. Uh, Internet Explorer could open it also Firefox for Mozilla. The JPEG, this option will generate a static JPEG file. So in this scenario, I'm just going to generate a HTML and a JPEG view. I'm going to process my files. And this is usually will take about a minute, depending on how big is your file and how many images you took during that setup. So as you can see here, I have about 62 images I took for that folder. And I'm processing panoramic image for station number one. And as you can see, the process is indicating how long this process will take. So now, when this process is finished, you will know and you can open it via file location. And as you can see, we generated a JPEG. So if I double click that JPEG file, it's going to open a static image file. So that basically, that's the static image file that I just created. The HTML, I'm going to open it with a web browser. I recommend that you use Internet Explorer and you will see that it generated a panoramic image with HD view add-on. You have to install it and you can see this is the panoramic image in HTML. Now let's say you have a customer has a PDF viewer and would like to process your panoramic uh, and, and view your the panoramic. What I suggest that you can open your PDF with your plan on. You have to have Adobe Pro or InDesign so you can add a hyperlink. Once you click on the hyperlink in the PDF, you can open it as an HTML viewer and you can view the same thing, but this is now in PDF as a hyperlink. If you have any questions, please visit neigps.com. Thank you very much and have a nice day.